Jake Hughes makes his move to the outside line of Gunter, and he gets squeezed and they touch, and Maxi Gunter is off the road. Championship leader into the wall, big impact, he spins around. Thankfully, nobody else involved in all of that, but that is going to be a yellow flag, and it's going to be an incident that's looked at inevitably at the high-speed part of the circuit. Another chance to call you through it. I just wonder why that Ferrari was trying to get past as well, maybe for its position on the grid. It's definitely 74 yeah, well on, the, on the nose. And uh, 74, Michel Bronyszewski positioned further up on the grid. I think that's what he's trying to do. He's thinking, I need to start second here, Claudio. So let me pass. Schiavone, far more concerned about flicking the car from left to right to heat up the tyres. Total misunderstanding between the two. And that's what can result. And Bronyszewski, if he's got away with that, then that's just unbelievable in terms of car setup. You know, how is that car going to develop over lap. the next minutes 120 to minutes? Because it will have knocked out the setup that, that you know, is together. Done. Because coming up towards Le Com, the Ferrari. Oh, it just suddenly just turned sharp right. And again, a big heavy impact. And that car is all over and done with. There's heavy damage to the front. So it'll be potentially suspension, if not chassis damage. Some points, but look at that. The tyres let go. And the poor old Minardi, absolute passenger in that one. Absolute shocking luck for him. Jensen Button, the right rear Michelin, letting go pretty much at the maximum speed point. Yeah, he'd already got They all survive, and there's more contact and a huge moment this time coming up towards Le Combe, and that, I'm afraid, is the Carlin car upside down. Oh. Menez, as I fear, it skates up the escape road straight away. We go safety car, understandably so. Let's have a look what happens. He's tucked up behind Brandon Maisano, and there just isn't room for the both of them. And as he clips him, the air gets underneath. There's one impact, look, against the wall. He skates along upside down. There's a second impact as it comes back down onto the ground. I mean, that's a terrifying situation yes. for the driver. You don't know where you are, what you're going to end up hitting next. Thankfully, it comes to a, a halt. <laughs> but then, prop it up on two wheels and let him scramble out, please. There'll be British marshals, I'm sure, watching this, thinking we wouldn't do it like that. And there's a good to the race is the Jean-Paul Buffat. Oh. BMW that has a big, big off, and he's in the wall. Bad. that's a huge off. Jean-Paul Buffa, suddenly the car broke away under braking for Lecom. Bang, off he has gone. It didn't get to the braking point for Lecom, and the back goes almost like something broke. And kaboom, that's a massive impact. You saw the, the engine cover, or hood, if yeah. you were in the United States. Money on Rosenqvist, here he comes, goes to the outside of Jensen. Jensen levels, oh, oh they all oh. make contact, and it's Rosenqvist who comes off worse. Broken suspension up the escape road, into the barriers. Felix Rosenqvist is out of the race. Lance Stroll is out of the race. Oh, no. He's got a bit of a... Oh, he got held. Oh, he got shunted from behind. That may... Oh, that's a big impact into the wall. No wonder he's wow. limping. Wow. He'd have banged his ankles in the pedal box.